so far we have created the slab with cell part okay now we will move to property module in this module we will create materials uh, with different properties and create sections composite section so uh, so we can assign those material with the section to this part in this module we will also see uh, how to define the thickness of the cell structure okay so let's get started so uh, let's click on material and manager create name let's say steel and here in general tab you will see density the properties are listed in different different tabs okay so uh, which one you will choose depends upon your analysis type of analysis okay uh, so you must have a little bit idea about what you're doing so that you can uh, define properties material properties here okay so for what I am going to do in this tutorial series for that the properties which are needed I will list here okay if some property is missing abacus will tell us okay so uh, there is no concern about uh, missing the any data okay so let's start first so uh, let's uh, define density uh, let's define density for steel 7850 kz per meter cube i'm using si units so i will be uh, be consistent in units okay so mass density is 7850 uh, kz per meter cube okay let's define some more properties elasticity gives us elastic properties here we have young's modulus so steel has young's modulus 200 gigapascal something like that okay so 200 e9 look at this i have typed 200 e9 okay so in a backus e9 means 10 to the power 9 okay so it is basically 200 gigapascal okay so uh, let's enter poison ratio also 0.3 uh some more properties in elasticity uh, we can define expansion because we are going to uh, have some temperatures effect on stresses we will need this property okay uh, expansion coefficient so expansion coefficient of steel is something like 12 e minus 6 okay wherever you uh, have to uh, write down 10 to the power minus 6 you can write just e minus 6 okay it is so this is cool uh, we have defined expansion uh, in thermal tab you can define conductivity also if you need uh, in thermal analysis but if it is uh, just temperature and stress effect then i think you will not need conductivity unless you are looking for uh, heat transfer rate or something like that okay so i will skip that but uh, if you want to you can define uh, just uh, click on thermal tab and conductivity click on conductivity and you can put down here conductivity okay uh, right now I'm not going to uh, define that conductivity uh, so the material behavior which are uh, we have which we have defined are listed here I think we have not defined any conductivity we have not entered any value for conductivity we can delete from here this button if you click this button 
it will delete this property okay if you again want to uh, define you can just find here so this is how we define material properties in a backest so uh, we can now click ok and our material is listed here if you want to edit more properties or enter more properties here you can just click select here and uh, click edit and just uh, tap now look at this we have just uh, entered 289 now you will count that then it will have 200 plus 9 zeros right so uh, abacus understand that what is going on what is what e9 means okay e is not uh, counted as exponential rather than it is uh, e9 is scientific notation e9 is 10 to the power 9 okay so uh, this is uh, quite handy uh, okay uh, so we will click ok we have just defined steel since we are going to uh, ha uh, we are going to you know uh, model a composite material so we need to have uh, two or more material properties okay so we are using concrete plus uh, steel composite material okay so we need to define concrete material properties also